There are several Jamaican herbal teas ranging from bitter yet energizing to absolutely delicious and calming and they are sure to excite your taste buds. Today we are going to discuss five Jamaican favorites, how they are prepared, how they taste and of course their herbal tea benefits. Hi, I'm Tina, your friendly Jamaican tour guide. Before we get started, I would like to thank all of my new subscribers for joining the fold. I truly appreciate you all, especially those who watch my videos in full and never fail to leave a comment and a like. These form of engagement really help my channel to grow, so gracias mi amores. And please continue sharing with friends and loved ones you think will enjoy. I will start giving shout outs at the end of every video and pinning comments as well, so be on the lookout for that. Now let's get started. The plant that Jamaicans refer to as Saracy is scientifically known as Momordica charantia. Though the plant is pretty much now found all over the world, it originates from Africa and Asia. In Jamaica, it grows wild running along fences and other plants. It produces a fruit that when it is ripe turns yellow or an orangish color. This fruit is called bitter melon or bitter gourd. It is widely used in Chinese and Indian cuisines and can be cooked or eaten raw. Um, so this is the Isterisi plant. It actually grows on a vine as you see here and these are the flowers and here you have the fruit i've actually had it raw when it's ripe and i find it to have a sweet taste especially the uh, seeds with the red coating if it is not picked when fully ripe it eventually opens up and splits into sections curling back to show its seeds that have a bright red coating over them as the name suggests the plant itself is bitter to taste in Jamaica both the leaves and stem are used to make tea they can either be boiled or put to steep it is said to aid with varying ailments such as diabetes hypertension fever colds constipation it may also be used as a bath alone or with other herbs for skin conditions like eczema and rashes. It is said to help in providing some relief from menstrual pain and urinary tract infections and can be used as a detoxifier. Freshly gathered leaves can be prepared but you may also dry them. As with other bush medicine or herbal teas, you simply wash it and you boil the water and then you just put it in the hot water to steep for several minutes. Jamaican Mint There are varying types of mint plants. Many are familiar with the peppermint and spearmint variety. But today we are discussing this particular mint plant, Pitched Hair. It's a Jamaican favorite. The plant is rich in nutrients and is said to relieve upset stomach and indigestion. I think you guys will agree with me that a strong mint tea is a great way to start your morning. The scent and the taste energizes you. The third is ginger tea. Ginger tea is made from ginger root. A nice plump juicy root is the best for me. It boasts a long history in herbal medicine across the world, not only in Jamaica. As with the mints, if you ever feel a wave of nausea, it's smart to draw for some ginger, which offers a power punch of nutrients and can help to relieve pain, lower cholesterol, and decrease sugar levels. By the way, I want you to tell me which one of these teas you like with your fried dumplings and ackee and saltfish or your favorite Jamaican breakfast. Put that in the comment section below. In Jamaica, we make it by boiling fresh slices of ginger in water. You may also choose to grate it for a stronger tea. 
If I cut slices, I like putting it into my teacup to further steep while I sip. Pimento, also known as allspice and Jamaican pepper, is the dried, unripe berry of the pimento tree. It is used as cooking spice in Jamaica and is cultivated for this purpose all over the world. It's a co-star in the Jamaican jerk dish. The leaves and wood of the tree are also used in the jerking process. But the leaves are also used to make pimento tea, which has a pleasant taste and aroma. It is said that this herbal tea remedy helps to calm and upset stomach brought on by overindulging. In recent research, two compounds isolated from allspice were shown to have selective anti-proliferative and anti-tumor properties on human cancer cells and their animal subjects. Lemongrass, or fever grass as Jamaicans call it, is part of the grass family as the name suggests and tends to grow wild in Jamaica. It has a tropical lemony scent and a citrusy flavor. The health benefits it is said to have include boosting your immune system, increasing red blood cell count, reducing cholesterol and inflammation. It may also help with colds and flus and even aid in the treatment of oral infections. Did you know that some people chew on the stock for dental health? In other countries, that is. <laughs> I'm not sure if they do that in Jamaica. A fever grass and ginger tea is a perfect refreshing combination. They say it's best to dry it and add it to boiling water for several minutes. But I use the green ones to make tea as well. Well, thank you very much for watching my sunshines. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, do not hesitate in clicking that like button. Give it a light caress if you may. Also, hit that subscribe button for me. And remember what I said about engagement. I would really appreciate it if you leave a comment in the comment section, even if it's a little high, and share with friends and family members that you think may enjoy the video. So as promised in the beginning, I am going to do a shout out. But I would like to say shout out to Eugene Bryan, who is one of my loyal subscribers who never hesitates to watch my video and leave a comment and it is very evident in whatever comment that he made that he watched the video in full so thank you very much Eugene for your support I really appreciate it okay thank you very much for watching my sunshines remember if you're my tribe then subscribe you know what to do hit that button and turn it blue <laughs> See you next time.